This is Justin Buckholtz here at ETR Truck Center. I'm gonna show you how to properly install a Caterpillar rear main seal. This is a C7 engine that I'm building in the floor. First, you wanna wipe the seal surface clean, the crankshaft and the flywheel housing. Don't want any debris. And then we're gonna install our, our seal installer. This is a Monaco tool company. The part number will be listed. And just snug it up there. You don't want to really over tighten it. Just want it to bottom out on the, the hub face onto the crankshaft so it'll go nice and straight. Genuine cat seal. This this seal does have the uh, wear sleeve built on it. Uh, even more so while having the proper seal installer is, is needed. Um, Caterpillar seals you want to install dry. Don't put any oil on it. And it, it says it on the seal itself. Also, you can't see it, but the seal will have a rotation mark on it. Uh, you know, the difference between a front and a rear seal. Uh, just You want to make sure that on the rear seal, it has a counterclockwise arrow on it for the rotation. That tells you it is definitely a rear seal. Put the hub on and the nut. Now, I'm building this engine in the floor. I actually have the crankshaft kind of held held steady with a with a pry bar up front you can't see it to keep it from rotating in the block assembly but you just want to drive it home uh, with a you know a half inch ratchet and socket I wouldn't recommend using the impact on your uh, on your tooling it, it, it's hard on on your tooling if, if you care about that but uh, run it in with a ratchet till it till it bottoms out and you'll you'll know when it stops it, it it's just a dead stop Should be getting real close there. And that's it. Just remove your tooling. And, um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions uh, or comments, just, just let us know. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.